Hi guys, hope you're well. I'm back with a kind of first look at Flat Out Fabulous. It's in the new retro range from MAC. Absolutely stunning colours in that collection. And I wanted for a very long time a nice kind of purpley pink. And I went for this beauty. This is a Flat Out Fabulous, as you can see. It's not an intense pink. It's a kind of pink with purpley hues in it. And before I purchased it, I was quite concerned of how it would look on me and my skin tone. The model on the website is Caucasian, and I thought this, you know, it looks so striking on her, but how is it really going to look on me? And I hope that this video helps some of you who may be of the same skin complexion and you're kind of thinking, mm, should I, should I not? So I'm going to put it on and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Before I use any of my retro lipsticks, especially with Max Ruby Woo, I need to prep my lips with some lip balm and this is Miss Sporty's Dr. Balm which I buy from Superdrug. So this is what Flat Out Fabulous looks like on me. As you can see it's not an intense pink, it's not one of those kind of like oh my goodness look at the colour that you're wearing. I think it's quite subtle but does what it needs to do, it has that nice pop of colour. And I've actually found as well by wearing it, even though I've got the lip balm on underneath, it really isn't as drying as Ruby Woo. I still find Ruby Woo a bit drying, you know, it gets to a point in the day where it starts kind of crusting up a bit. And I found that this lasts a lot longer, so maybe they've got something else going on in there. But it really does feel better, and when you're applying it as well, it's very, very smooth to apply. Because it's a matte lipstick, it hasn't got any sort of sheen to it or anything like that. So if you're a person that likes it, of course you can apply with a lip gloss over the top. I probably wouldn't advise you then to put lip balm on underneath before putting on the lipstick and then lip gloss because I think it'll be a bit too much and it'll be sliding about the place. Because this particular lipstick has been sold out in stores, I had to buy mine online for £15. This does last a long time. My Ruby Woo lasted me last time about six months of wearing it. So, you know, you buy it, it does last a long time. So I hope that was helpful. Comment below, have you picked up any of the Max Retro lipsticks and what colour? And thumbs up if you do like your subtle but kind of bright lipsticks as well. Take care.